I'm coming off of Skyline onto, I think they call this, I guess this is part of the Great Highway. What kind of native am I that I'm not really sure what these streets are? Anyway. Um, oh, I want to make a note of that stuff there. These barriers that they're using to keep people people and sand back, I'm assuming. Uh, we can do a better job of niceties there. Anyway, they want to close um, this part as well at some point. And actually, I think it's a good idea to not have the zoo have a back entrance because when it rains, it floods. So people are driving into the parking lot and parking for the zoo. But when they leave, sometimes starting right here, you can see beyond this bush area where the parking area leads out, that area gets flooded. And sometimes there's over a foot of water. And you're not supposed to be driving cars through a foot of water because your engine can stall and ruin. See, look at all this sand here. They got to figure something out. It's not, it's not, it's not cool. And it just seems like there's an easy fix to maybe not eliminate, but to, um, you know, just reduce. Sorry, it's early in the morning. <laughs> I forgot I was making videos today on my, on my way when I was driving. Anyway, that's that. That's my, that's my, uh idea for that part of the thing. Oh, no. Um, I know I like <laughs> I'm filming still. Anyway, while we're driving, you can see the crappy zoo fence that's been here for like 30 years, but nobody seems to want to fix it. It's ridiculous. It's all broken down and crumbled. But anyway, what I was going to say is, um, take a look at my blog called Old Gal Out There. I'll link it down in the description um, because I have gonna have um, aerial views using satellite photos from Google Maps uh, to talk about my ideas.